the objective of this video is to find relationship between table equation and graphs okay and that's what uh, you find mostly in maths many of the maths topics so let's read this problem Claire worries about her underwear being blown off the line so she has developed a triple pegging system so this is her pegging system for each pair of her underwear she uses three pegs so this is three pegs or two pairs one two three four five uh, for <coughs> excuse me for three pairs she needs seven one two three four five six seven so the first question is complete the table showing the table below showing the relationship between pegs uh, pegs to underwear uh, in Claire's system okay so Claire has her own system of pegging so this is a pair of underwear so if she has one pair of underwear she uses three so if it is two it is five it's already given there for three it is seven okay so for, if it was four it would have been nine okay and we, if it is five it is so what what's happening here to the numbers of n so this is 11 and you want to find for 21 okay we'll do that later so let us find a relationship or formula between so that's the first question or okay, second question write the rule that links the number of pigs that is p used uh, number of pigs sorry number of pigs used is n to the number of pants that is p okay now to find now this is a linear relationship if you graph this you will be you'll get a straight line okay uh, okay we don't have to graph it but if you look at this is say your uh, your y value suppose if you consider this as suppose for the time being say if this is y and this is x <coughs> To find the formula or the relationship between n and p, if you graph this on x and y axis, if you plot these points, it will be a straight line. If you uh, graph the points, it will be a straight line. So to find the relationship between n and p, you find what's the change in y or what's the change in n for the change for the unit change in or for the unit change in x or p. So this is changing by 2 and this is changing by 1. So here you can see the gradient or the rate of change, which is the gradient rate of change. The rate of change is per, for always for one unit. So the rate of change is 2 over 1. Now what does this mean? That when P is changing by 1, N is changing by 2. That's what it means, 2 over 1 okay so the relationship between uh, n and p would be this two will play the first <coughs> excuse me this two is called the gradient so n is two times p so let me write like this two times p so if you go two times one it is two but to get three you have to have one here or this is the y intercept okay now when p when p is supposed to 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 when p is 2 when p is 3 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 when p is 5 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4 all the relationship are is justified so this is how you generally write so n which is the number of pegs is 2 times the number of pants or the pair of pants plus one okay now using that rule we can write this number so for this it will be 2 times 21 let me show you this so this 11 I got as what I'm saying is 2 times 5 which is this 5 plus 1 okay so let me erase this to explain this so this is 7 is 2 times 3 plus 1 I hope you now understand so for 21 will be 2 times 21 plus 1 
okay so for using bed mass you have to first multiply which is 42 plus 1 which is 43 pegs uh, she would need okay if Claire has used 20 17 pegs how many pairs of pants did she use now this is uh, you're going backwards so let me write the equation or relationship n is 2p plus 1 so what they're saying is this is the equation that we know now they're saying that p is 17 if p is 17 what is n that's the question so let us put p in, in the equation so i can write n is 2 times 17 uh, Oh, sorry so she has used 17 picks okay sorry so the question is not that simple you have to make subject okay so what's given is n n is given to be 17 yeah n is given to be 17 you want to find the number of or the pairs of pants that she needs so I'll put this in this equation so I can say 17 is 2p plus 1 so one interesting thing about the number of pegs is they're all odd if you see that pattern okay so what i'm going to do is so now you think logically 2p you cover up 2p or 2p is a number so 2p plus 1 is 7 so using your logic i hope you understand 2p has to be 16 because 16 plus 1 is 17 or in a different way yeah, if I want to get rid of, if you take away one from this side, you have to take away one from this side. That's what I've been doing in all my classes. So you can do in different ways though. So this and this gets cancelled. So 17 minus 1 is 16. So let me write the other way around so that you're not confused. So this is 2p on this side is equal to 16. Now I want to get rid of this p, sorry, 2 I'm going to divide this side by 2, so I will divide this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so P is 8. So when she has 8 pairs of pants, she uses 17 pigs. Okay, let's look at one more question. Claire runs a catering business. She charges $30 per head plus a 50 traveling fees to serve the dinner this is a constant expense okay this is a constant expense at an outside venue her, ch her charge can be represented by the formula where c is the charge is 30 times n so this actually means is 30 times n plus 50 where n is the number of uh, or number of heads n stands for let me write n is number of heads and C I hope you can understand is the cost her charge okay how much would she charge to serve a dinner of 15 guests at an outside venue that's the first question so I say her charge would be 30 times n where n is 15 year plus 50 so using bed mass, you have to multiply this two, which is 450 plus 50, which is $500. That's the first answer. Claire has had a number of small dinners lately, so she has decided to make up a charge sheet. Okay, so let us complete the, this is the formula. So that if she has one customer or one, pe one person, she'll use this formula. So this is 30 times 1 plus 50 that is 30 plus 50 so let me write that 30 plus 50 which is 80 for two people it will be 30 times 2 plus 50 which is 60 plus 50 which is 110 okay for three people it will be 30 times 3 plus 50 which is 90 plus 90 plus 50 which is 140 so can you see a pattern here when it's uh, when it's one person it is 80 and then this is increasing by how much this is increasing by 30 
can you see where this 30 has come from? The 30 has come from the formula this 30, okay? So that's what you have to see the relationship between tables and numbers or tables and equations. So plus 50, so 30 times 4 is 120 plus 50, which is 170. Even without this, you could have said, you keep, so I'm not going to do this, the next will be 170 plus 30, which is 200. Okay, or you can check 30 times 5 is 150 plus 50, which is 200. Okay, now use the grid below. And complete a graph of class charge. Don't forget to include the scale on each axis. So here we want to draw the graph from on x-axis we are going to plot the number of people and on the y-axis we are going to use charge. So they're already so this is say n. N stands for the number of number of people. Okay, so let me draw a line so that you can see. Say this is my line, this is my x-axis, okay, this is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis, okay, uh, it's going wobbly, so it's playing up, so, okay, yeah, that's fine, okay, this is my Y axis. So you've got charge here. I want to go up to 200 on Y axis. That is, this is my C, which is charge in dollars. And this is N. So I want to go, say you want to go up to 5. So you can start here. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That is enough. Okay. So let me write this better always good to do tidy work okay so this is this is one I'm going a scale of uh, so this is one centimeter so two centimeters one unit so one two three you can take any scale whichever is appropriate I want to go up to 200 so I think this is uh, what would be good scale you have so let us take so this is, if you go in 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I think that we can go in 10s. So let me start. This is 20. We we'll go in 20s. 40. This is 60. Am I right? 80, 100. I'm going very slowly so that all of you can understand. This is 120. Can I reach there? Hopefully. 140, 160. Oh, yeah. 180. You were exact. This is 200. So when there is one person, she is charging $80. So this is one person charging $80. So this is 80. 180. So this is the first point. The next is when she's got two people, it's 110. Now you have to go up in 30s. Two, this is two and 110. Okay, for three, it is 110 plus 30, which is 140. Okay. And when it is four, it is 170. Four, this is four, 160. I can't see. This is 4. Ah, this is easy. So this is 4. 170. And again, this would be 5. 5 is 300. 200, sorry. So if you draw, a gra if you join these points, it will be a straight line. So let us draw. Let us, oops. I want to draw a straight line. So I'll use this blue. And this is my straight line. So this is the equal graph of uh, class number of people to her charge. See you in the next video.